Nice to have you with us. A national treasure. Her TV career of 80 years spanned longer than any others. The first lady of game shows. As Sue Ann Nivens, she was icky sweet to sweet perfection. As Rose Nyland, her terminal naivete was interminably hilarious. Ageless, tireless, she was a true icon and one of the most beloved entertainers of all time. Cozy TV remembers Betty White. It happened this past Friday, the death of Betty White, the beloved comedian just two weeks shy of her 100th birthday. With Mo Rocca, we look back in laughter. By the time I got to high school, the kids had made up this really mean nickname for me just because I had hairy legs. What'd they call you? Rose with the hairy legs. <laughs> As long as there's been TV, Betty White's been on it, as she told Katie Couric. If you have one good series, you, you know, it's a blessing. Two good series is unusual. Three is, where do you get privileges like that? I taste it every minute. That's why you're always avoiding me, because you know if you get too close, you're afraid the little pilot light of desire that flickers within you might turn your whole oven on. <laughs> Beginning in 1973, White portrayed happy homemaker slash man-eater Sue Ann Nivens on The Mary Tyler Moore Show. She was an obvious choice because she's so gifted. She was not an obvious choice because she's antithetical to the character. James L. Brooks was the show's co-creator. Oh, my poor baby! <laughs> There's a great bit where Sue Ann pulls out a collapsed souffle and then she closes the oven door <laughs> with her knee. I just remembered it as you said it, yeah. She was inventive. I think there was less direction of her than almost anybody. She had it all. I think she could have been a tremendous dramatic actress if she wanted to. In 1985, Betty White did a 180 and played lovably dim-witted Rose Nyland on The Golden Girls. I should have said no to the Miss St. Olaf beauty pageant. It was 1951. That was the first year they let humans enter, too. And in 2010, White co-starred with Wendy Malick in the TV Land series Hot in Cleveland. 
Penoga Falls is naming the town square after me. Wow, that's <laughs> great. Oh, did Canoga Falls lose a bed or something? I turned 60 on Hot in Cleveland when we were working together, and she was on the cusp of her 90th at the time. And I looked at her life and thought, oh my God, there's a whole other act ahead of me. White's career in television predated television itself. Months before the medium was introduced to the public at the 1939 World's Fair, 17-year-old Betty appeared on an experimental transmission in Los Angeles. Off-screen, White had two great passions in her life, including animals of all kinds. And oftentimes people would come up to her and say, oh, I want to show you a picture of my kids. And she'd say, oh, great. And when they would show them pictures of actual children, she would look so disappointed and say, oh, they're children. <laughs> She was so hoping for a little lamb. The great two-legged love of her life was her husband, Password host Alan Ludden. She was a contestant, and he, soon enough, popped the question. I said no for a year. It, I wasted a whole year of time we could have had together. I might have been a pretty good game player, but I was a dumb lady. <laughs> what were she and Alan Ludden like as a couple? Tremendously loving. Tremendously loving to towards each other. I mean, they, they, you know, they, they were precious to each other. Why, Betty White. Why, Alan Lund. Well, it's nice to see you again. Nice to see you. When I look on YouTube at the game show, you can just see them, how much they just like each other. So they adored. I think adored is the word. After Ludden died, White kept on working, hosting Saturday Night Live when she was 88. something Wendy Malick credits to her unfailingly positive outlook. I remember somebody coming up to her once, I don't remember who it was, and said, you know what I hate? And she said, no, and frankly, I don't care to know. <laughs> and that was pretty much Betty. She didn't want you to dump your dark woes and worries and angst, and she just wasn't interested in that. It's like, you can always find something to be happy or grateful about, and she worked very hard at that. And that was her credo. Why is she so beloved? Betty was a deeply good person. Something of a higher quality about her um, th that I think everybody sensed. We all kidded around and piled around, but we treated her a little differently, I think. There was something special about her. I'm honored to be able to, like, say a few words about how truly wonderful she was because sometimes you're asked to do these things and you have to sort of pull out the good parts and leave the rest <laughs> But Betty, there's no, there's no leaving the rest behind. It's all good. White worried that people were sick of seeing her on TV. She even speculated this for her gravestone. At last, she's gone. <laughs> she finally got off. <laughs> but even at 99, Betty White left us wanting more. it's not that funny. <laughs> I know. I think I better keep the lid on this paint thinner. <laughs>
to get the picture. The game show or an eye for detail can make you a winner. Let's get started by meeting our players. On the orange team, we have Christy and Nick. Welcome, orange team. How you guys doing? Great. Christy, I, I understand you're on the student council at school. Mm -hmm. Now, what, uh, what part are you of the student council? Well, I'm the representative for my um, impact class. Mm -hmm. Now, is this something you had to run for, like this mm -hmm. election? Was there a special slogan you used? No, no special so slogan or anything, just... Mm -hmm. No special slogan? Like, when I ran for student council, it was, don't dally, vote O'Malley. <laughs> of course, I didn't win. But, uh, so it's, it's good. Maybe I shouldn't use the slogan. And Nick, you're on the tennis team yeah. for the varsity at, the, at high school? Yeah. Now, what grade are you in? Seven. You're in, and now, that's not a normal thing. How did you get to be on the team? Well, I tried out, and I made it. You know, I beat a lot of people. You tried out, you made it. I mean, a a anything less logical than that? No, I mean, you just, you just go out there and, you know, challenge someone. And, you know, if you beat them, you get spots on the team. Uh-huh. You know, like the starting five play, and I'm the number three player on the team. And Great. I play n number two doubles on my team. Okay. All right. Now on the yellow team, we have Heather and Connor. Welcome, yellow team. <laughs> Heather, you're in a jazz band. Mm -hmm. What's the name of this jazz band? It's just a jazz band for Robinswood. Okay. Now what, um, what instrument do you play? Trombone. How long have you been playing that? Two years. Do you have a favorite song that you play? <laughs> we got a new piece of music called Woodchopper's Ball. Woodchopper's Ball. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now, is this the you know, guys dancing around with axes and stuff like that? I mean, what is the... Uh... No, it's just a real fast beat song, and you have a big drum solo in it. Okay, great. And Connor, how you doing? All right. Now, you're, you're, you play baseball, and you're also in the science club at school. Yes. What type of experiments do you guys do? Um, we work with um, keeping heat pressure into lead and aluminum and seeing which one can hold the most heat. Oh. And and now, you, so you don't blow up the teacher or anything like that or try to no. blow up the school or nothing crazy like that. Just a little crazy humor here. Okay, let's hear it for our teams that are playing today. <laughs> Round one of Get the Picture. It's called Connect the Dots. Here's how you play. We put a bunch of dots up on that board. They represent a picture. Your job is to figure out what picture those dots represent. I'll be asking questions. The team that buzzes in first with the correct answer gets $20, gets to connect the dots in a square of their choice, and a chance to guess the picture. Ready to play? Yep. Yeah. Let's put our first puzzle up on the board. Okay, and the clue is it's an animal. And here's the first question. Jasmine Guy plays a southern belle with a major attitude on what popular NBC show? Orange team. A different world. That is correct. $20 for the orange team. Pick a square. I'm six. Number six. six, please. Okay, now if you guess this right, you get $50. If you guess wrong, you lose 20. You like to take no. a guess. Next question. If they brush regularly and avoid fist fights, how many teeth should a healthy adult have? Yellow team? 32. That is correct, Connor, and the yellow team. $20, pick a square. Number 11. Number 11, please. Okay, would you like to take a guess? No. No guess. Next question. Oh, sure. Lots of people have signed the Declaration of Independence. Now tell me who actually wrote it. Yellow team. Thomas Jefferson. That is correct. <laughs> Wonderful. Had a nice work. Twenty more dollars. Pick a square. Number ten. Number ten, please. It's an animal. A spider? You, is it a spider? That is incorrect, but I like you taking the chance. Now, you lose $20 for that, for guessing the picture, but uh, still plenty more to play. Here's the next question. Which of the following cannot be played with the regular deck of playing cards? A, hearts, B, bridge, or C, pinochle? Orange team. Pinochle. That is correct. 20 more dollars for the orange team. Pick a square. Uh, 12. A look of intensity. 12, please. Talk to me. Um, no, thank Next you. question. If Roseanne's daughters each get $4 a week in allowance and DJ gets half as much, how much will Dan have to cough up each week in allowance? Orange team. $10. That is correct. 20 more dollars. Pick a square. Uh, we let the pick square nine. Nine, please. I guess? Um, yeah, sure. It's a horse. Is it a horse? 
incorrect. You lose $20, but uh, you guys are, are taking some guesses. I like that. Next question. Slalom, hot dogging, and traverse are all terms associated with what sport? Yellow Skiing. Team. Skiing is correct. 20 more dollars ties the score. Pick a square. Seven. Seven. Power surge! Woo! Knocking each other off there. I like that. Okay. Power surge, a chance for you guys to get an additional $20 and also an additional clue as to what that picture was up there. This is called Name That Theme. Our video wall has a bunch of pictures hidden up there that pertain to one theme, such as holidays. I'll tell you what the theme is, and then you need to yell out as many as you can. You need to get four in 30 seconds, okay? The theme is things that are red, and that's R-E-D, things that are the color red, okay? So just yell those answers out. You ready? On your mark, get set, go! Shirt, Ball. socks, car. Keep going. <laughs> What's red? Shoes, a hat, telephones, light, light poles. Keep going. I need Hands. four pictures. Uh. What's red? Talk to me, you guys. <laughs> red. A fire Houses. truck. What did you say? Fire truck. Fire truck. Let's see if that. That's one. Okay. Let's show them the other pictures that were up there. Apples, strawberries, red light, and looks like cherries down there. Okay, since you were unsuccessful, we'll put the $20 on the orange team score. But you guys don't lose any money. Let's get back to playing. What we're going to do is we're going to reveal an actual square piece of that puzzle. Orange team, you get to take a guess. Remember, if you guess right, you get $50. If you guess wrong, you lose $20. So let's reveal an actual portion of that picture now. A guess. It's a crab. Is it a crab? It's incorrect. But you guys are guessing today. I like that. Not everyone does that. All right, after Johnny Gill and Ralph Trisvon left New Edition, what became the rest of the group? Orange team. Belle Biv DeVoe. That is correct. 20 more dollars. <laughs> Get that 20 back up there. Pick a square. Uh, five. Five, please. We know it's not a crab. It's a bee. Is it a bee? <laughs> that is correct! <laughs> Fifty more dollars! <laughs> Woo! Wasting no time getting it done here today on Get the Picture. Brings your score to 110. Orange team with 40. Plenty to play. Let's put our next puzzle up on the board. Your clue is it's a thing. Here's the question. Jack and Bill go to a baseball card convention, each with $500. Now, if Jack buys two Pete Rose rookie cards for $80 a piece, and Bill buys a Jose Canseco and Oral Hershiser and two Ricky Hendersons, each for $75, then sells his Nolan Ryan MVP for $120, stay with me here, while Jack blows half his remaining capital on a Don Mattingly bat and two Slurpees, how many socks to a pair? Yellow team. Two. Two is correct. <laughs> you. Pick a square, yellow team. Ten. Ten, please. It's a thing. And take a guess. No. <laughs> okay. Next question. She had a number one single at age 17 and her... Okay, that buzzing means time is running out. What we're going to do, we're going to reveal this one square at a time so one team buzzes in with the correct answer. It is a thing. It's worth $50. Let's reveal those squares now. Orange team. Fire hydrant. Is it a fire hydrant? It is a fire hydrant. Orange team brings your score to 160. Yellow team with 60. 20 more to play. Coming up in the second round. We are smoking today. I feel good. Stick around. Welcome back. Get the picture. Round two set to begin. Let's recap the scoring. Orange team with 160, 
in the lead. Yellow team was 60 right behind. The stakes were much higher in this round. Plenty of time to catch up. We will be playing a game called Dots. Here's how you play. The picture up on the board, I'll be asking questions that will require two, three, or even four answers. Each group of responses is worth $40, plus as many lines as there are answers, plus a chance to guess the hidden picture. There is one power surge square up there this time. And don't forget, if you can't give all the answers for a question, the other team can buzz in and steal. Good. Got it? Yep. Looks like our first puzzle is in place. The clue is they are things. And here's the first question. Turning now to science and nutrition, name three types of Captain Crunch cereal. Yes, orange team. Uh, Captain Crunch. Uh, Captain Crunch. Crunchy. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. No. We have Captain Crunch. We know the Captain Crunchy is not one. I need two other types of Captain Crunch cereal. Peanut Butter Crunch. Need one more. Crunch Berry Crunch. Yeah! yeah. I need three lines. It's here for Captain Crunch. Three lines. Uh, 12 and 17. 12 and 13. And 17 and 18. Okay, one more makes a square. Here's the question. The Junior Olympics pentathlon is composed of five events. Name two of them. Yellow team. Running. Uh, more specific. Uh, track. <laughs> yeah, a little bit more specific. 100 meters. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. <laughs> you tried, though. I like that. I like a lot of things today. What? Orange team, I need two of, two of the five events in a pentathlon. Uh, you guys no. want to take a couple days, get back to me? or? Uh, <laughs> yeah. 80 meter hurdles, shot put, high jump, long jump, and the 1500 meter run. Nelson is a set of twin brothers with a string of hit singles, and it's also their last name. Can you tell me their first names? Orange team. Matthew and Gunner. That is correct. $40 for the orange team. Two lines. Two lines. Two lines. Two lines. Yeah, we'll, we'll keep track of your score. Two lines. What are they going to be? Um, 13 and 18. 18 and 19. Okay, let's reveal that square. Hmm. I help you at all? Now, if you guess it right this time, you get $75. You guess wrong, you lose only $20. I'd like to take a guess. It's a CD. Is it a CD? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> they don't need any detail. Brings your score to 275. Fabulous job. Let's put an X puzzle up on the board. And looks like it's in place. The clue is it's a person. Here's the first question. Four states, four U.S. states have the word new in their name. See if you can think of three. Orange team. New Mexico, New Jersey, and New York. That is correct. You left out New Hampshire, but I want to hold it for you. I'm from New Hampshire. Three lines. Um, uh, one to two. Two to three, and two to seven. Okay. And, yeah. Yep, yep, that's it. <laughs> Getting a little funky up there. Oh, Name three movies starring Bill Murray. Orange team. Stripes, Ghostbusters, and Ghostbusters 2. That is correct. $40 more dollars. Three lines. Okay. One to six. Six to seven. Six to seven. And six to eleven. Let's uh, reveal that square. It's a person. Oh. All right. No. It really outlines some of its, uh, the features of that person. Let's go on. Name three countries that are part of the Middle East. Orange team. Uh, Saudi Arabia, mm -hmm. Iraq, mm -hmm. and Jordan. That is correct. <laughs> Forty more dollars. Pick, us, uh, pick your three lines there. Uh, Seven to eight. Eight, eight, eight to three. Eight to three. And 11, 12. To reveal that square. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the main facial features are usually up in the corners of the picture. You guys want to take a guess? No idea. No idea. Okay, we'll go on to the next question. 
Yeah. In the book Alice's Adventures in Wonderland, Alice meets a lot of strange characters. Can you name three of them? Yellow team. The Queen of Hearts. Two more. The cat. The cat. I need more specific on the cat. Orange team, I need two. I have the Queen of Hearts. I need two other. The Cheshire Cat That's and it. Mad Hatter. That is correct. 40 more dollars for the orange team. Three lines. Uh, 7 to 12. 7 to 12. Uh, 12 to 13. 8 to 13. Okay, let's reveal those two squares. Power server! <laughs> a chance for you guys to get an additional $40 and also an extra clue. We put a brand new picture up here this time on a 3x3 three three grid. This is called Ring Toss for Pieces. We've got a giant circuit board here. Object of the game is to toss these on the capacitors and the resistors that have numbers on them. At the end of 30 seconds for each one you've got, we will reveal a portion of the picture on the 3x3 three three grid. End of 30 seconds, you take a guess. Kay. Are you ready? Yeah. Mm -hmm. On your mark, get set, go! Okay, get them out there. Just keep on throwing. Faster, we got one on that one. Come on, you guys. You guys look like you're going to get stuck in molasses here. Throw it. Throw them. It's a Sunday. Come on, we got one on number four. We got number one on two. Keep on going. Keep it going. Keep throwing them. Almost on number eight. Come on, you're running out of time. Run out of time. That buzzer means time is up, but you knew that. What do we have here? We have one on number nine. We have one on number four. And that's it. Let's reveal those squares now. Nine and four. Okay. Take a guess. Now, if you, if you guess wrong, the other team gets your money. So take a guess. What? Uh, Bart Simpson. Is it Bart Simpson? <laughs> Sorry, it's Batman. Batman, who looks a lot like Bart Simpson. $40 goes on the yellow team score. Back up to play. Let's get to work here. In your own words, name two mo Oh, wait a minute. Are we going to? Yeah, let's actually. <laughs> Sorry about that. We're going to reveal an actual portion of the picture right now. OK. Now, yellow team, you get a chance to guess. Oprah Winfrey? Is it Oprah Winfrey? It is not Oprah Winfrey. You lose $20 for that. Sorry, Orange Team, you don't get to guess until you, until you answer another question. Here we go. In your own words, name two Madonna singles with one word titles. Please be brief. Orange Team. Vogue. Y'all, Team, I need one other one word title of a Madonna single. We have Vogue. Everybody, Holiday, Borderline, Angel, Cherish, and Vogue. I'm going to make you Vogue now, since can you want Vogue for me over there? No. No, we'll get on to the next question, won't we? The Jetsons cartoon features two giant industrial companies. One makes sprockets, the other makes cogs. Name the two companies. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Spacely Sprockets and Cogswell Cogs. So, uh, name two... Okay, that buzzer means time is running out. We're going to reveal this one square at a time. So one team buzzes in with the correct answer. It's worth $75. Now, in the sudden death round, if you guess wrong, you don't lose any money. So guess away. It's a person. Let's reveal all squares now. Orange team. Janet Jackson. It's Janet Jackson. It is Janet Jackson. That score puts you at $510. Yell team with 120. We're sending you away with 120. Get the split, but we're also going to give you these great prizes. Henry J, talk to us. You'll each get the hot video game Pac Mania featuring Pac Man, the world famous yellow fella who's trying to gobble up all the dots in the maze without getting nabbed by ghosts. Now you can play Pac Man like never before in spectacular 3D and British Knights Athletic Footwear. BK's the latest, greatest, baddest, most awesome sneakers around. BK's British Knights. And now, here's Mike. Did I forget to say that these guys are the winners? You want to figure it out by yourself? Get the picture. We're here with the orange team. Power 
full performance with $510, advancing to the bonus round of Mega Memory. It's called Mega Memory. Here's how you play. We'll give you 10 seconds to look at a bunch of pictures up there, nine of them to be specific. Then we'll cover them up, and as I read off a clue for each picture, you need to hit the corresponding button on the Mega Memory keypad. For the first six you get right, you get $100 a piece. After that, you get these great prizes. Henry J. Mike, today's grand prize package includes from East Pack, the leader of the pack. Bags for school, play, and travel. East Pack bags are stylish, tough, and built to last. Yours from East Pack. You'll be all set to take your act out on the road as you sing along to your favorite hits and make a recording with your own Singalodeon. In Japan, it's karaoke. In America, it's Singalodeon by Lone Star. Get all nine matches and you'll receive Snark Sea Devil Sailboat. Features a full 70 square feet of sail on a popular sloop rig. Sea Devil is easily car top as she weighs a mere 50. Five pounds for easy economical sailing. The choice is start. Good luck. And now back to the smooth sailing. Mike O'Malley. Thank you, Henry J. You guys ready to start this? Yeah. Okay. The theme of today's mega memory is things that start with C. Starts with C. I shouldn't just say things. It just starts with C. Uh, let's reveal those pictures, guys. <laughs> Get a good look at that? Yeah. yeah. Loud and clear, I want you to take turns, help each other out here. 45 seconds on the clock. Tropical amphibian with the big jaws, go. Five, crocodile, right, yell it out, checkmate, ends this game. Two. Two, chess, right, shuffle the deck before you play. Six. Seven, cards, right, cat who catches mice. Cat who catches mice, one, cat, right, high speed electronic calculation. Three. Three is wrong. Good. Good on the cob or pot. Good on the cob or pot. Four. Corn. Right. Colorful accessories for a coloring book. Nine. Nine. Right. Crayon. Singer, actress, and health club smoke model. Three. Right. Chair. Circus member who makes you laugh. Circus member who makes you laugh. Six. Six. Cloud. Right. High speed electronic computer. Oh, you got it. Everything, Mike. Congratulations. You'll each receive $600 in cash, plus the East Pack bag collection, the Lone Star Singalodeon, and the Snark Sea Devil Sailboat. A prize package worth $1,911 each. Terrific job. You guys smoked through that. $1,000? Wasn't that hard, was it? No. Yeah. We'll tell you afterwards. We'll see you next time I get the picture. for a live audience in Nickelodeon Studios at Universal Studios in Orlando, Florida. While seeing is believing, looks can be misleading, so keep your senses teeming. It's time to get the picture. And now, here's the host. Get the picture. The guy who wrote the book on doing your own dental work with just a few simple everyday tools. My buddy, Mike O'Malley. Thank you, Henry J. This nail is the only tool I need to use. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Get the Picture, the game show where an eye for detail can make you a winner. Before we get started, let's meet our players on the orange team. We have Heather and Richard. How are you guys doing? Great. Right. Heather, you're working on the school yearbook. Mm -hmm. Now, does that mean you get to put in all the pictures of you and your friends, or? Yes. Um, what, what, what do you do for the yearbook? Well, we just kind of, well, we put in the pictures and we organize, like, the different, like, chorus and orchestra pictures. Uh-huh. Now, you also play Dorothy in The Wizard of Oz. Yes. Do you get red uh, shoes to tap together and? Well, my mom made my red shoes. Your mom made your red shoes. And do they actually drop a house on the witch in this production? Well, they don't really drop it. She, we just used a cardboard house. Okay. Good, I just wanted to check. Okay, Richard, you play guitar and saxophone. You're in a garage band with your friends. What's the name of the band? We don't have a name yet. We're too good for a name. Too good for a name? 
<laughs> that confidence there. Now, your idol is, is Jimmy Page. Any yeah. specific reason he's your idol? He's cool. I mean, he can play guitar. He can he play anything he wants to. He can Are you going to start growing your hair like him? No. No, no. Not at all? Mama Black with the curls and no, stuff like that? No, my mom like would that. kill me. Your mom would kill you. Well, yeah. you better not do it. On the Yell team, we have Jennifer and Roberto. How are you guys doing today? Hi. Well, Jennifer, you're, you're in the school band. You play the flute. Yes. How'd you pick this up? Well, most of my friends were playing the flute, so I decided to join. Do you have a flute band? No, it's just um, all kinds of instruments. Is Jimmy Page your idol? No. No, yeah, I don't think he plays the flute. Roberto, you belong to the Beta Club at school. What is the Beta Club? Well, Beta Club is like, it's a club, it's like an honor for people, how it leads mainly towards your grade point average, and if your teachers see that you feel certain requirements of leadership and certain qualities, then you become a candidate for membership. Okay. Well, if you can put uh, dots together in this game show, you can be in the Get the Picture Club. Round one, let's hear it for our players. <laughs> Round one set to begin. It's called Connect the Dots. Here's how you play. There's a bunch of dots up there. Those dots represent a picture. Your challenge is to figure out what picture that is. I'll be asking questions. The team that buzzes in first with the correct answer gets $20, gets to connect the dots in a square of their choice, and a chance to guess the picture. You guys ready to play? Yeah. yeah. Okay, let's put our first puzzle up on the board. And your clue is it's an animal. And here's the first question. In case you're ever asked to sing it, what's the last line of the Star Spangled Banner? Yellow team. And the home of the brave. That is correct. $20 for the yellow team. Pick a square. Um, 14. Number 14, please. OK. Now, if you guess the picture right, you get $50. If you guess it wrong, you lose 20. Would you like to take a guess? No. Next question. What famous? Circus showman teamed up with a partner named Bailey to cook. Yes, Barnum. orange team. P.T. Barnum is correct. Twenty dollars for the orange team. Pick a square, orange team. Ten. Number ten, please. Power surge. All right. Now, power surge. Here's a chance for you guys to get an extra twenty dollars and also see an actual portion of the picture, but you must be successful. This is called What's in Common. We're going to show you four. Four different pictures, you need to tell me what they have in common. You get 30 seconds to do so. On your mark, get set, go! Yeah. What do you got? You got a guess? Throw it out there. Um, they all have uh, All bills. bills. All, all bills. bills is all correct. $20 for the orange <laughs> Beautiful. It brings you scoring $40. Let's reveal an actual portion of the picture. Okay, it's an animal. Would you like to take a guess? No. Okay, on to the next question. Is benzoyl peroxide used to fight A, cavities, B, acne, or C? Acne. Yes, orange team. Acne. acne. Acne is correct. <laughs> C was Buster Douglas. I didn't think it was that one. Pick a square. 11. Number 11, please. Did that help you at all? No. 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 Next question. <laughs> World War I ended with the signing of the Treaty of Versailles. In what country was the treaty signed? Yellow team. France. France is correct. 20 more dollars for the yellow team. Pick a square, guys. 12. Number 12. OK. Any guesses? No. Next question. Name the sport where spares are good and strikes are even better. Orange team. Bowling. Bowling is correct. 20 more dollars in unison on that one. Pick a square. Or number two. five. Ooh, number five. We got stereophonic sound over there. Yes, I guess. No. no. Oh. <laughs> Samuel Clemens wrote novels of riverboat life. Yes, orange team. Mark Twain. Mark Twain is correct. <laughs> he wrote novels of riverboat life in early American under what pen name? Pick a square. Six. Six, please. A guess. No. Okay, as you've probably heard, carbon-14 has a half-life of 5,730 years, plus or minus 40. Now, if a 228-gram artifact is found to contain 0.38 grams of radiocarbon and no other isotopes are present in the artifact, how many ears does your partner have? Orange team. Two. Judges? Two is correct. 
one of the judges to check if indeed she did have two ears. Next square. Pick it. Yeah. Eight. No rate, please. Power serve! All right. Another chance for you guys to get another $20. This one's called Data Distortion. Our big computer here can twist and distort images. You need to identify five of them in 30 seconds. Are you ready? Yes. On your mark, get set, go! A computer. Correct. Computer. Next picture. Um, a lion. tiger. Um, a nope. fire. Food. Food. Nope. Ground. Crab. Crab is right. Next picture. A field. Football field. Football you got field. it. Next picture. Need two more. Pencil. Pencils. Hot dogs nope. on a barbecue. Hot dogs. Next pictures. That's right. Person. Sleep. Person's, um, a a raccoon. raccoon. Correct. Thing. You guys got it. Right before the Pfizer puts your score to $140, let's reveal an actual portion of the picture right now. A guess. It's an animal. No. No guess. Okay. An international symbol of peace is a dove carrying a branch from what kind of tree? Yellow team. Olive. Olive is correct. 20 more dollars for the yellow team. Pick a square yellow team. 16. 16, please. Okay, a guess? No, no guess. Name the Scandinavian country where it's illegal to spank kids no matter what kind of trouble they're in. Yellow team. Sweden. That is correct. 20 more dollars <laughs> for the yellow team. Two. Number two. A guess? Camel. Is it a camel? <laughs> that is correct. Put you at one. Right behind the orange team, Camel. Let's put our next puzzle up on the board. Woo, there you go. And the clue is it's a thing. It's a thing. Question, besides adorable, what type of dog is Lassie? Orange Collie. team. Collie is correct. 20 more dollars for the orange team. Pick a square. Number 10. Number 10, please. Mm-hmm. Does that help you at all? Nope. No. Next question. Sir Isaac Newton made a painful discovery one day while sitting under the apple tree. Orange team. I don't know. An apple? Uh, <laughs> no, that's incorrect. Let me reread the full question for the yellow team. Sir Isaac Newton made a painful discovery one day while sitting under an apple tree, and it wasn't fig bars. No, name the scientific principle Newton discovered. Gravity. That is correct. 20 more dollars. Pick a square, yellow team. Um... Fourteen. Fourteen, please. Okay, would you like to take a guess? No. No guess. Next question. If you were born on February... Okay, that buzzer means time is running out. What we're going to do, we're going to reveal this one square at a time until one team buzzes in with the correct answer. Now, in this sudden death period, if you guess wrong, you don't lose any money. Okay. Well, get ready to guess. Let's reveal those squares. <laughs> Yes, the orange team. Shell. Is it a shell? It is a shell. Put you at two hundred and ten dollars. Orange team in the lead. Yellow team with one fifty right behind. Lord of play. Lord of play. We got another round. Let's get up here. These kids are going crazy. Let's recap the scoring. Orange team with 210 in the lead. Yellow team right behind with 150, and the stakes are much higher in this round. We got plenty more to play. You'll be playing a game called Dots. Here's how you play. We got a picture up on the board. I'll be asking questions that will require two, three, or even four answers. Each group of responses is worth $40, plus as many lines as there are answers, plus a chance to guess the hidden picture. There's one power surge square up there, and don't forget, if you cannot give all of the answers for a given question, the other team can buzz in and steal, okay? All right, looks like our first puzzle is in place. The clue is it's a food, and here's your first question. Name two actors who have starred in Back to the Future three times. Yes, Orange Team. Michael J. Fox. Uh -huh. and Christopher Lloyd. That is correct, 40 more dollars. 
for the orange team. I need two lines, orange team. What are they going to be? Eight to nine. And nine, nine to 14. 14. Okay, next question. What three words do the letters FBI usually stand for, orange team? Federal Bureau of Investigation. That is correct. 40 more dollars for the orange team. Three lines, please. Eight to 13. 13 to 14. 13 to 12. Let's reveal that square. Power surge! Come on down! All right, this power surge is called Ring Toss for Pieces. We got a giant circuit board here. The object of the game is to take those rings, these rings right here, and toss them on the numbered resistors and capacitors and transistors, okay? For each one that you get, we will reveal a portion of the picture on a 3 by 3 grid here. At the end of 30 seconds, We'll let you take a guess as to what it is, okay? So you take these rings right here, and you just want to toss them, just like I did just there, onto here. Get some rings out there. And I need some enthusiasm for the audience here to cheer these guys on. On your mark, get set, go! Okay, you got one over there, on number. Okay, now keep getting them out there. Dustin, I'm all right, just like the Frisbee. did some good work on that. Let's see what you got here. You got one on number four, a number five, a number three, a number eight, a number six, and a number nine. Smoking. Woo! Did we get all those out there? Four, three, five, eight, nine, and six. You got a good view. What's your guess? James Buster Douglas? Is it James Buster Douglas? No. Actually, I had the answer right here. It's Johnny Gill. I'm sorry. On $40, it's going to go to the yellow team on that one. And we're going to reveal an actual piece of the picture. Let's do that now. Okay, it's a food. Would you like to take a guess? No. Okay, now, if you get... Well, actually, you guys aren't the ones who get to guess. The yellow team is. Oh, sorry. sorry about that. Would you like to take a guess, yellow team? Now, if you guess right this time, you get $75. If you guess wrong, you lose 20 No. Next question. Paula Abdul is best known as a singer, but she's a woman of many other talents. Name two other types of... Yes. She was singer. a Laker girl and um, a choreographer. That is correct. 40 more dollars for the orange team. I need two lines, orange team. 7 to 12 mm -hmm. and 78. Let's reveal it. It's a food. Take meat. a guess. Meat. Is it meat? It is meat. Raw meat. Woo. Okay. Seventy-five dollars. Put your score up to four hundred and five. Woo. We're smoking over here. Let's put our next puzzle up on the board. And your clue is: it's an event. First question: Name two of Martin Sheen's sons who have starred in their own major motion pictures. No guess, huh? Charlie Sheen and Emilio Estevez. Name two major league baseball teams named after birds. Yellow team. Cardinals and Blue Jays. That is correct. $40 for the yellow team. I need two lines, guys. One to two. Mm -hmm. And one to six. Okay. Madonna has released eight albums so far, and I know that she'd uh, be very hurt if you couldn't name at least three of them. What do you say? Yellow team. I'm breathless, like a prayer. I need one more. Say it. I need one more. I need one other Madonna album. I got I'm breathless and like a prayer. Orange the Immaculate team. Collection. That is correct. Forty more dollars for the orange team. Three lines, orange team. Six to seven. Two and to seven. Two to seven. Two to seven. Seven to two. I need two one more line. Oh, two to three. Two to three. Okay. Let's reveal that square. It's an event, I guess. Nope. No. Next question. It takes a big person to name two of the four largest per planets in our solar system. Would you like to try? Orange team. Saturn and Jupiter. 
That is correct. Forty more dollars for the orange team. Put it four eighty-five. Two lines. Seven to eight. Mm -hmm. And three to eight. Well, let's reveal it. It's an event. Take a guess. No. That clue helps you each time I say it, huh? Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. Pretend you're at the movies and name three of the flavors found in a package of Chuckles candies. Yellow team. Lemon, lime, and orange. Lemon, lime, and orange is correct. Forty more dollars for the yellow team. Three lines. Seven to twelve. Twelve to thirteen. And eight to thirteen. Okay, let's reveal it. It's an event. I guess. No. Next question. During the Civil War, War, the United States of America had a president, and the Confederate States of America also had a president. Name these two men. Orange team. Lincoln and Davis. That is correct. <laughs> Abraham Lincoln and Jefferson Davis. Brings your score to 525. and need two lines. 6 to 11. And 11 to 12. I guess. A rodeo? Is it a rodeo? Nice try. You lose 20 for that, but I uh, admire your guts for taking that guess. Make a name for yourself by giving me three of the ten most common last names in the U.S. Orange team. Smith. Baker and Johnson. No. Smith and Johnson are correct. Baker is incorrect. I need one other of the ten most common names in the U.S. I have Smith and Johnson. O'Malley. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> Williams, Brown, Jones, Miller, Davis. Without looking, name four of the five common names for the digits on your hand. Orange team. Finger? Uh, no, I need a little bit more specific. Can you repeat it? I mean, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, l let me just read this off to you. Without looking, name four of the five common names for the digits on your hand. The thumb, the index finger, the middle finger, the ring finger, the pinky, the little finger. Yeah, Mike, go on to the next question. Name two of the five space shuttles. Yellow team. The Columbia and the Atlantis. That is correct. Forty more dollars. Yeah. Brings the score to 310. Eight, two lines. Eight to nine. Eight to nine. And 13 to 14. Okay, next question. Name three members of the Jetson family, including Pets and the Maid. Orange team. George. Elroy. One more. Um, and Rosie. And Rosie, that's correct. Forty more dollars. <laughs> the orange team brings the score at 545. Three lines. Nine to 14. Mm-hmm. Three to four. Three to four. And four to nine. Two squares. Let's reveal them. Take a guess. I don't know. Okay, on to the next question. Okay, that buzzer means time is running out. We're going to reveal this picture one square at a time until one team buzzes in with the correct answer. It's worth $75. It is an event. Let's reveal those squares now. Orange team. Graduation. Is it a graduation? It is a graduation. $75 more dollars. Brings your score to $620. Yellow team with 310, nice score, but today's winner's on the orange team with $620. Yellow team, 310 is nothing to slouch at. You get to split that, then you get these prizes, Henry J. You leech receive Double Dragon 3. The greatest martial arts adventure continues with all new weapons, characters, and street fighting moves. Double Dragon 3 from Acclaim. Twice the characters, three times the action. And British Knights Athletic Footwear. BK's the latest, greatest, baddest, most awesome sneakers around. BK's British Knights. And now, back to you, Mike. Thank you, Henry J. We're going on in the bonus round and putting their word processing to work. Stick around. We are back in a flash. Woo. Welcome back to Get the Picture, where today's winner is the Orange Team has bagged a sweet score of $620. We're in the bonus round of Mega Memory. This is how you play. We'll give you 10 seconds to memorize nine pictures, then we'll cover them up. And as I read off a clue for each picture, you need to hit the corresponding button on the Mega Memory keypad. You gotta help each other out here, okay? For the first six, you got $100 a piece. After that, you'll be playing for these great prizes. 
Talk to us, Henry J. Mike, today's grand prize package includes the Simpsons Grand Slam from McLean, featuring Bart versus the Space Mutants. Help Bart as he tries to save Springfield from aliens, plus a Nintendo deck and two more hot acclaim titles. Plus, Commodore's Amiga 500 home computer features outstanding color graphics and sound, connects right to your television set, and includes bonus software. It's all you need to get started. The Amiga 500 from Commodore. Get all nine matches and you'll bathe yourself in luxury at Mariner's Pink Shell Beach and Bay Resort in Sun Branch, Fort Myers Beach, Florida. Florida. Enjoy swimming, sailing, and snorkeling on Florida's Southwest Gulf Coast Beach. Good luck. And now, here's Mike. Thank you, Henry J. Okay, so we got uh, 10 seconds here, and uh, the theme of today is various. 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 Little grab bag. Show them the pictures, guys. Good look at that. All right, 45 seconds on the clock. We'll get rid of that theme card. I need you to yell these out loud and clear, okay? Okay, a favorite way to prepare potatoes. Go. Seven, Seven is wrong. Looks like a rhino hangs out in the water. Four. Four is wrong. Heavy, du heavy duty strongman stuff. Two. Two. Two is wrong. A mainstay of guacamole dip. Nine. Nine, Nine is correct. Avocado. Famous main cell shellfish with claws. One. One walks the right. Transportation for cowboys. Four. Four is right. Take turns. Lives on your front lawn in winter. Two. Two. Two snowman right. A sparkling beverage for young and old. Eight. Eight soda right. Gets the wrinkles out of your clothes. Five. Five iron right. A favorite way to prepare potatoes. Three. Six. Six is right. Looks like a rhino hangs out in the water. Three. Three is right. Heavy duty front Seven. You get everything! $600 each in cash, the acclaimed Simpsons Grand Slam package, the Amiga 500 computer package, and the Mariner's Pink Shell Beach and Bay Resort vacation. A prize package worth $2,424 each. Way to go! We've got some winners today! We'll see you next time and get the picture. Bye-bye! before a live audience in Nickelodeon Studios at Universal Studios in Orlando, Florida. To play this game to perfection, you've got to make the right connection. So use your powers of perception. It's time to get the picture. And now, here's the host of Get the Picture, a guy who can guess your weight right over the telephone. Picture the game show where an eye for detail can make you a winner. Let's get started by meeting our players on the orange team. We have Brandy and Darren. Welcome. Hi, okay. Brandy, you collect unicorns. Mm -hmm. Now, tell me how this started. Well, I just like them, so I, whenever I see one, I pick it up. Uh huh. How many, how many unicorns in this collection? 10, 15. 10, 15. You got a favorite one? Darren, you, uh, you play soccer on the Hurricanes? Now, is this mm -hmm. a school team? No, I'm in the soccer league. Soccer league. Now, this is a city league? Um, I don't know. I think it's countywide. You think it's, it's candy what? County. County. You think it's a county league. What position do you play? Um, all of them except goalie. All of them except goalie. So there's only two guys on your team? You and <laughs> the goalie? You must get pretty tired. Pass me the ball. I, I am passing it to you. I, I've got the ball. On the yellow team, we have Robin and FJ. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Robin, you're, on, you're also on the school soccer team now. Mm -hmm. This isn't the county team. Now, what no. position do you play? I play defensive fullback or goalie. Okay. Maybe you and Darren can get <laughs> together and go on tour, right? You can play goalie and you guys have the two-man team. FJ, you collect Marvel cards as well as uh, skateboarding. Now, what are these Marvel cards? Well, they're like the um, Marvel comic people on cards. Uh-huh. How many of these cards do you have? Um, I almost have the whole set. The whole set's like about 160 cards. 
163. Um, they're coming out with a second series. Do you have a fav favorite comic star? Um, not particularly. Not particularly. All right, let's hear it for our players today. Here, get the picture. Round one set to begin. This is how you play. It's called Connect the Dots. There are a bunch of dots on that board. They represent a picture. Your challenge is to figure out what picture they represent. I'll be asking questions. The team that buzzes in first with the correct answer gets $20, gets to connect the dots in a square of their choice, and a chance to guess the picture. You ready to play? Yes. Let's put our first puzzle up on the board. There you go, and the clue is, it's a thing. And here's the first question. If you were in trouble and you needed a good TV lawyer, would you most likely call A, Murphy Brown, B, Claire Huxtable, or C, Maggie Seaver? Yellow team. Claire Huxtable. That is correct. Claire Huxtable, $20. Pick a square. Two. Two. Number two, please. Okay, now there's a little bit of detail for you. If you guess the picture correctly, you get $50. If you guess incorrectly, you lose 20. Would you like to take a guess? No. Next question. You're in a jet traveling at Mach 3. How fast is that compared to the speed of sound? Three times the speed of sound. Next question. The Green Goblin and the Kingpin are both enemies of what swinging superhero? Yellow team. Spider-Man. That is correct. The comic man gets it. Twenty more dollars. Pick a square. Um, three. Number three, please. Okay, remember, it's a thing. That's your clue. Would you like to take a guess? No. No. Next question. In order to change vanilla ice to vanilla water, how high would its temperature have to be? Thirty-two degrees Fahrenheit. The Simpsons' hometown in the capital of Illinois go by the same name. What is that name? Orange team. Indianapolis. Indianapolis is incorrect. Yellow team. Do you have a guess for the Simpsons' hometown in the capital of Illinois? Chicago? Chicago is incorrect. Springfield is the answer. If you confused ice, if a confused ice cream man roared by, roared by you going 100 miles per hour and continued at that pace for another 15 minutes, he'd lose a lot of business. Now, uh, how far away from you would he be? Orange team. 15 miles. That's incorrect. Could you repeat the yes, question? Yes, I can. If a confused ice cream man roared by you going 100 miles per hour and continued at that pace for another 15 minutes, how far away from you would he be? Twenty-five miles is the answer. Roseanne Connor spends most of her free time trying to find the perfect guy for this ex-cop. Name her. Yellow her sister team. Jackie. That is correct. Twenty more dollars. Put your score to sixty. Pick a square. Six. Six. Six, please. Would you like to take a guess? It's a thing. No. Next question. What does the word tack mean to someone who enjoys horseback riding? Stable gear such as bridles, saddles, harnesses, bits, reins, stirrups, etc. Okay, a farmer has 12 sons, each of whom has four daughters, as well as four daughters, each of whom has six sons. If each grandchild needs two new pairs of shoes per year, and the boys insist on high tops, which cost $70 more per pair than the girls' shoes. What state are you in right now? <laughs> Orange team. Florida. I was worried. You got it right there. I was concerned for a minute. Pick a square. 11. 11. These guys were hypnotized by that question. Number 11, please. I'd like to take a guess. Umbrella? Is it an umbrella? It is an umbrella! That $50 puts you in the lead. It's 70. Go ahead. How'd you know? How'd you know it was an umbrella? It looked like a it parachute. It looked like an umbrella. <laughs> Ask a stupid question, you get a silly answer. But you get the right answer. Let's put our next puzzle up on the board. There you go, and the clue is it's a thing. Again, it's a thing. Your video character, Link, is trying to rescue the princess of the land of Hyrule. What is the name of this princess? Orange team. Zelda. That is correct. 20 more dollars, push it 90. Pick a square. Three. 
Three, please. Would you like to take a guess? Mm-hmm. Next question, we're looking for a few good men is the slogan for A, the FBI, B, the Marine Corps, C, the Oprah Winfrey Show. Yes, yellow team. Uh, the Army. I'm I sorry. mean the Marines. The Marine Corps, exactly. B is the right answer. <laughs> Oprah got you a little confused there. Pick a square. Number 12. 12. Mm-hmm. Would you like to take a guess? No. Okay. If you were born on February 29th, how often would you get to celebrate your birthday? Yes, yellow team. Every I four mean, years. Orange team. Every four years is correct. $20. Put you at 110. Pick a square. Mm, number six. Six, please. A guess? No. Next question. What famous American politician is the teddy bear named after? Yes, orange team. Teddy Roosevelt? That is correct. 20 more dollars puts you at 130. Another square, please. Number 11. Number 11, please. Mm-hmm. Any guesses? Nope. No guesses. Next question. The Belmont Stakes, the Preakness, and the Breeders' Cup are all events in what sport? Orange team. Horse racing. Horse racing is correct. 20 more dollars. Hundred and fifty. Pick a square. Eight. Eight. Power surge. <laughs> it's a chance for you guys to get an extra twenty dollars and an additional clue as to what that picture was. This power surge is called fill it up irregular. We've covered up these this object with a with a bunch of glop. We're going to play a video to you backwards. you got to tell me what it is. You've got 15 seconds to do so. Are you ready? On your mark, get set, go! Rocket. Pardon me? Space shuttle. Space shuttle is correct! $20 for your team! Good work. Put your score at $170. We're going to reveal an actual portion of the picture in that square. Remember, it's a thing. Would you like to take a guess? It's worth $50. If you get it right, 20 you lose if you get it wrong. Yes. Is it a Swiss Army knife? Is it a Swiss Army knife? That is correct. It is a pocket knife. Woo! Swiss Army knife. OK. That puts your score at $220. Okay, that buzzer means that time has run out in this round. We have $220 for the orange team in the lead, $80 for the yellow team, but plenty of time to catch up. Are you kidding me? You see that round? We're looking good. Kenny, we're going up here. Come on. No time to stop. This is Pumpin' Gas. Welcome back to Get the Picture. Round two set to begin. The Orange team with $220 in the lead. Y'all team with $80. You have plenty of time to catch up because in round two, the stakes are much higher. You'll be playing a game called Dots. Here's how you play. We got a picture up on the board. I'll be asking questions that will require two, three, or even four answers. Each group of answers is worth forty dollars, plus as many lines as there are answers, plus a chance to guess the hidden picture. There is one power surge square up there, and don't forget, if you don't supply all the answers for a question, the other team can buzz in and steal. All right? Looks like our first puzzle is in place. The first clue is it's a person. Here's the first question. Name the two cops played by Sylvester Stallone and Kurt Russell in a recent action <laughs> yellow team. Tango and Cash. Tango and Cash, correct. <laughs> recent action adventure film. Two lines, please. Seven to 12 and eight to seven to eight. OK, let's go on to the next question. Let's say you take your little brother or sister to McDonald's. Name three characters they might run into at McDonald's land. Yes, yellow team. Hamburger. I'm Hamburgular. sorry. Hamburglar. Hamburglar is McDonald's. one. I need two more. McDonald. Ronald and McDonald. Birdie. You got it. And, and Birdie. And who? Birdie. Birdie is correct. Yes, you got forty dollars there. 
Climbing back up fast. I need three lines. Eight to nine. Eight to 13. And 12 to 13. Let's reveal that square. OK, it is a person. Now, if you guess it right this time, you get $75. You guess wrong, you only lose 20. Would you like to take a guess? Yeah. OK, no. next question. Name the two major league baseball teams whose names don't end in an S. Red Sox and White Sox and an X. Remember Janet Jackson from Good Times? Well, she's got a little singing career happening these days. In fact, see if you can name two of her albums. Orange Team. Rhythm Nation. I have Rhythm Nation, Yellow Team. I need one other of Janet Jackson's albums. Control. That is correct. $40 brings you to 200 I need two lines. What are they going to be? 9 to 14 and 13 to 14. Let's reveal that square. Hmm. Can I? Does no. <laughs> that help you at all? No. no. Next question. Pet experts recognize several classes of dogs, such as sporting dogs, terriers, working dogs, and hounds. Without referring to Elvis Presley, name three types of hounds. Orange team. Bloodhound. It's one. <laughs> Yellow team, I have the bloodhound. I need two other types of hounds. No. Okay, I have the Basset Hound, the Fox Hound, the Grey Hound, Irish Wolf Hound, the Blue Tick Hound. <laughs> Who would want to have that dog? <laughs> Blue Tick Hound. Name three movies starring Tom Cruise. Yes, the old Cocktail, Top Gun, and Days of Thunder. That is correct. $40 puts you in the lead. Okay. I need three lines, yellow team. What are they going to be? 12 to 17, 17 to 18, and 13 to 18. Let's reveal it. It's a person. Would you like to take a guess? No. We'll give you next question. Pretend you're Jay Leno and name three flavors of Doritos corn chips. Orange team. Cool Ranch. It's one. Salsa. And original. Uh, original. Judges? That's correct. $40. Push it to 60. I think that's nacho cheese, the original flavor. Pick three lines. 18 to 19. 19 to 14, and 18 to 23. Let's reveal, let's reveal that square. Power surge! All right, come on down here. Power surge, chance for you guys to get an additional $40 and also an additional clue. Now, we got a three by three gr uh, picture up here on a three by three grid. You need to this is a giant circuit board. You need to toss these rings. It's called ring toss for pieces on the various capacitors, transistors that are numbered. For each one that you get, at the end of 30 seconds, we will reveal a corresponding picture on the puzzle. So you just need to take it and ring the camera like that. <laughs> no, don't, don't you dare. Anyway, so you got 30 seconds on the clock. Throw them out there on your mark. Get set. Go. All right. There you go. Whoa. means time is up, but you guys did phenomenal. Let's check out what you got. You got number three, number four, number five, number six, number seven, number eight, and number nine. Great job. Da, 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 da. Now you guess this right, you get $40. Let's wait till all those squares are revealed. Come on, take a guess. Popeye. Popeye, it is Popeye. <laughs> Woo! Put you at $300 in the lead by $60. Let's reveal an actual portion of that picture now. Okay, it's a person. Take a guess. 
No. Okay, next question. Name two places President Bush usually goes when he wants to just relax and unwind. Orange team. Talk to me. Yellow team. Kenny Bumpport. That's one. I need the other. Um. Camp David. Next question. Name the three main components in every skateboard. Orange team. Deck. It's one. The wheels. That's two. And the the things the wheels are on the the frame. The frame. Judges. Sorry, it's incorrect. I got the deck and the wheels. Trucks. Truck is correct. Put you at 280. You're behind by only 20. I need three lines, yellow team. 17 to 22. Mm -hmm. 22 to 23. And 23 to 24. Let's reveal that square. OK, guys. We're $75 if you get it right. Would you like to take a guess? No. no. No guess. Okay, we'll go on for the next question. Bobby Brown has had a number of hit singles since he left New Edition. Name two of them. Yellow team. She ain't worth it and my prerogative. My prerogative is one, she ain't worth it. Judges? Sorry, that's incorrect. Um, Every little step I take. Pardon me? Every little step I take? Every little step I take is correct. That's $40 for the orange team. I need two lines, orange team. 19 to 24. Mm -hmm. And 19 to 20. OK, let's reveal that square. Take a guess. John Bon Jovi. Is it John Bon Jovi? not John Bon Jovi. You lose $20 for that, but that brings your score back down to 320. We have the difference of one question between the two of you. Name the two. OK, that buzzer means time is running out. What we're going to do is we're going to reveal this one square at a time until one team buzzes in with the correct answer. You can't buzz in until I say, let's reveal those squares. This is worth $75. Whoever gets it right is going on to the bonus round. It is a person. Let's reveal those squares. Okay, the guessing period is up. The answer is David Lee Roth, which means that uh, 280 for the yellow team, good score. But today's winners are the orange team with 320. Yeah. Yellow team, we got 280 for you guys to split. We're sending you home with some great prizes. Henry J, talk to him. For our departing team, try Real Field for kids with Aviva Sports Super Hot Golf, featuring hot putt, hot chip, and hot drive, and safe foam golf balls. Also includes a putting cup, tee, and golf bag. More fun from Aviva. Plus, you'll also receive Double Dragon 3, the greatest martial arts adventure continues with all new weapons, characters, and street fighting moves. Double Dragon 3 from Acclaim. Twice the characters, three times the action. And now back to a guy who's more than four times the fun. More to come. Bonus round coming right up. Stick around. Bonus round. Don't hit the brakes. This is Hump and Gas. Welcome back to Get the Picture. We are in the bonus round of Mega Memory. Orange team, today's winners advancing with a score of $320. It's called Mega Memory. Here's how you play. We'll give you 10 seconds to memorize nine pictures up on the board, and we'll cover them up. As I read off a clue for each picture, you need to hit the corresponding button on the Mega Memory keypad. For the first six, you get $100 apiece. After that, Henry J., what are they playing for? Mike, today's grand prize package includes The Simpsons Grand Slam from Acclaim, featuring Bart versus the Space Mutants. Help Bart as he tries to save Springfield from aliens, plus a Nintendo deck and two more hot Acclaim titles. Plus, you'll get Commodore's Amiga 500 home computer, features outstanding color graphics and sound, connects right to your television set, and includes bonus software. It's all you need to get started. The Amiga 500 from Commodore. Get all nine matches, and you'll be going to Universal Studios Florida, home of Nickelodeon Studios, where you can 
and ride the movies. Live the action of blockbuster movies at the largest motion picture and television studio outside of Hollywood. And stay at the Orlando Marriott, just minutes away from world-renowned attractions. The Orlando Marriott has it all with 16 villa-style buildings, pools, tennis courts, and restaurants. Once you're here, you may not want to leave. Good luck. And now back to a guy who never overstays his welcome. Here's Mike. Thank you, Henry J. All right. You guys got 10 seconds. The, the, the theme of today's mega memory is starts with an S. Let's show them the pictures, guys. <laughs> Loud and clear, I want you guys to help each other out here. I need 45 seconds on the clock. Go on, get up there. Discarded home of some sea creature, go. Salmon. Salmon shell, right. Lettuce, tomato, veggies, plus dressing. What? One salad, right. Little fish crammed tightly in a can. Hey. That's five, it's incorrect. A liquid first course in a bowl. A liquid first course in a bowl. Hey. Eight is incorrect. Someone allowed in the deep end of the pool. Someone allowed in the deep end of the pool. Three. Three is wrong. Shades to keep the sun out of your eyes. Yeah. Two sunglasses, right. These go on your feet for formal occasions. That's incorrect. Beautiful sea creature you find on the beach. Five. Five, starfish, right. A stone carving of some person or thing. Six, Six right, statue. Little fish crammed tightly in a can. Eight, Eight right, sardines, a liquid first course in a bowl. Nine, Nine is wrong. Someone allowed in the deep end of the pool. Seven. That's incorrect. Okay, you guys got one, two, three, four, five, six pictures. Henry J, tell them what they want. Congratulations for six matches. You'll each take home $600 in cash. Nice job. <laughs> are you guys excited? So what are you going to tell them back at home? Oh, yeah, we won. We won. All right. See you next time. Get the picture. picture was taped before a live audience in Nickelodeon Studios at Universal Studios in Orlando, Florida. I'm the master